Mazel morons, we are here with the unofficial official mayor of New York City, Ben Soffer, and my betrothed, my partner in life, my number one, Miss Paige O'Brien Peck. Hello. You look fantastic. You do. This green is giving, giving green. Thank you. It's I wasn't giving green. expecting to be here on camera. No, that's but what here we, we are. Speaking of the city, I was a couple minutes late. I apologize. Okay. I want to institute the out-of-state driver's permit mm. for people that come into the city from a different state. For example, you're not, you don't, you don't have a New York state driver's license. You're from New Jersey. You decide you want to take a ride over the George Washington Bridge, hop into Manhattan, and start to fuck everything up. <laughs> Just start to drive slow, not know how to turn. And all I'm asking, sure, it could be a worker's permit, maybe like a visa, right? If sure. you come into the city, all you gotta do is apply. I don't want you willy-nilly hopping into the city, ruining things, because they're very slow drivers, they're very bad drivers, occasionally get somebody from Maryland. I don't know if you guys have this in California because it's a long drive from anywhere else to California. It's big. But New York is so, I could get people from uh, Maryland, Jersey, Pennsylvania. Sure. The yeah. tri-state area. Really anywhere. And these people don't know how to drive in New York. Manhattan driving, you said it yourself last night, it's very different. Manhattan driving, yeah. it's it's chaos. And you gotta know how to live in the chaos, otherwise you can get eaten alive. What's, what do we think? What's next, a social credit score? Huh? Yeah. China? I'm in. Yeah, what's going I'm on in. over here? I'm totally <laughs> in. Zuckerberg, I I'm, do have I'm to in. say, we got in the car with you last night, you were driving and immediately thought we were gonna die. Like, yeah. as soon as you pulled out, everyone yeah. in the car went, oh, there was yeah, like but, a that car. Was, but that was my bad. <laughs> that, that I didn't look. <laughs> ben, like, Ben's a wild kid as far as driving goes in New York. First, the fact that you do drive and that yeah. you'll just like, you'll take the car out for a little, like a little commute, like a little A to B, which is wild. Yeah, no, I, I take the car out all day because we have the parking lot now across the street, which is an incredible luxury. Rich. Incredible luxury. Rich. Yeah. I look, it's honestly, it's nice. Good no, it is <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. But I, yeah, I abide no laws. I drive in the bus lane. You could catch me making a right when it says no right. Yes. Like, I'm willing to risk it. Does I'm Claudia willing... drive? Oh, yeah, she drives. But you're always, are you the driver when you guys are together? I'm just like a little bit nuts about being a passenger when somebody's driving. Like, if I have the opportunity to drive, I'm driving. Yeah. I know I can get us there faster if I drive. I'm yeah. a little bit of a control freak. Ben's wild. Well, a control freak's one thing. You're also just, you have a death wish. He drives 90 <laughs> miles per hour on the interstates in Florida. You park anywhere, whenever. Facts. You're like down, you're basically Facts. like, if we don't get towed, I won. And by the way, did I not win? The city has priced us out. They have a huge problem. Mm. Manhattan's tickets are $165. And how for, much is for, parking? For parking tickets. And uh, sorry, $65 or 165, 65 at a meter uh, or like a, a hydrant, 165 if it's no standing. I'll only do that in an emergency, but 65 parking, what, 30 bucks an hour? At least. Yeah. yeah. So if I have a chance of either getting it for free, because mm -hmm. if I get that $65 ticket, I won. Yeah. It doesn't true. matter. And more than half the time you get no ticket because so these true. cops just... Don't, don't, not all of them want to give out tickets. Some of them, I think they see, they're like, ah, oh, you know. Roll those dice. Yeah, why not? So I roll the dice. I roll. I've pulled some Ben Soffer before and it never works out for me. No? I am a ticket magnet. Really? They you really to are. find me. Yeah. Yeah. There's really? a lot of tickets in, in the glove compartment and I found, I found a few. You try to blame one on me, but it's not. <laughs> It's not me. You hide them from me. I love this. I do too. <laughs> no, I get a yeah. ticket immediately. Put it anywhere that Claudia can't see it. Yeah, because it's almost like it's it's shame. You're you're ashamed. I start to imagine what they're going to do with that money, and I go, you know, the city really needed a new fountain. Yeah, and this money is going to go towards some municipality improvement. So yeah. you're welcome. The best yeah. is when I was pregnant because like there's always street cleaning where we live, so you know, every, your street in front of your house is like street cleaning every Tuesday. And I, we had just moved into our house and I wasn't used to all the, like what our street cleaning was. And I remember there was like two times where I parked my car in front of our house, which was under construction. And I was so pregnant and I see the guy outside giving me a ticket and I like waddle out and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I had to lift something. And I was just bringing it into the house. I, I literally just parked and he was like, Oh, it's okay. It happened like three times. And then wow. eventually he was like, all right, Move, 
like park somewhere else. <laughs> Nobody did that for me when I had a big belly and would waddle <laughs> over and say, excuse me, sir, it was just one minute. He's Pregnancy. like, get out of here, fat ass. <laughs> Pregnancy is the ultimate excuse. <laughs> yeah, it's a good hack. Pregnancy. It is. It's yeah, it is. You need to get out of something. Yeah. I can't, I'm pregnant. But you could get a fake belly just for like convenience yeah, purposes. strap it on. Just strap it on. Like yeah. when you're trying to avoid something, throw one in the trunk. Yeah. You it's know, like you're getting pulled over. Oh, <laughs> grab the belly. It's like the stolen valor we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paige and I recently, and besides the fact that we've wanted you on for forever, we recently this weekend went to a pretty, pretty high profile wedding. Yeah, pretty, was. pretty well photographed. Pretty well photographed wedding. <laughs> I yes. saw it. And by the way, both of you looked fantastic. God bless you. God, you, you clean up so good. So Where was your suit from? My wedding. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Where was your dress was. from? Um, I bought uh, Beckenbridge. Okay. Ooh, That's wow. where it's from. I bought it yeah. the, like the day before we left. I didn't have anything to wear. And we'll put the picture in right here. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. We don't have the editing capacity. But yeah. Use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. Sorry, Paige. No, it was fun. It was, we, there was like, I think a few days of events and we only made it, our flight schedule was a little, Josh. Booked. Outstanding. Eh. I booked our travel and I think I've crushed it thus far, but we should say it was for the great Nick Vial and his, his now wife, Natalie Vial's yep. wedding. Yes, it was so pretty. It was like, her dresses were insane. And where was it? It was in Savannah, Georgia. Okay. On was it hot? This state, no, it was actually like perfect, perfect. weather. It was wow. not, it was warm, but not, yeah, it wasn't hot. It would get kind of chilly at night. It was just so pretty. It was on this, um, it was like a ranch and there were stables. And so there was like horses everywhere. It was so pretty. Baby animals. I think a baby animal farm as wow. well. Wow. So yeah, it was, it was gorgeous. And everyone was, it was a really interesting, Some we know them pretty well now, but we didn't know who was going to go to the wedding. We only know, I only knew her parents and his parents. When we got there, everyone was so nice. It was such a good mix of people. You know, sometimes at weddings, it's like everyone's very divided and like these people are having too much fun and these people are like sitting in the corner board. Yes. Who's everyone mm -hmm. got like <laughs> everyone was having fun. I do have a good story though about do you know Josh is like a Jersey Shore super fan? No. You didn't know you that? Didn't know I didn't that. know that you were a super fan. Josh the biggest. Is, really? Josh is By the way, it is an amazing show. My indulgence of all indulgences. It's fantastic. Care to hear? Yeah. yeah. Jersey, yeah. Jersey Shore Family Vacation, Josh watches it every night. Like, I'm not joking. That and Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Sometimes Bar Rescue, okay. Yeah, we watched that last night. <laughs> Shout out John Tafferty. <laughs> Welcome on the pod anytime. So, Jay Wow was there. Mm. She was at the wedding with her boyfriend, Zach. I don't know if they're engaged and so we see them walking up and they sit in our row but we are sitting down early and we're like we're here and they're over here and like josh wow sitting in our and he was like oh my gosh that's i don't know what i'm gonna do so he gets up and he's like i have to go to the bathroom jay wow leans over and is like hey jenny she's like can i can i can we sit a little closer and i was like oh yeah sure no problem so she's sitting there and she's chatting and she's so sweet so lovely we're chatting about how she's wearing flats, very smart, it's all grass. And I just, before Josh came back, I was like, I'm so sorry. My husband would never tell you this. He is a Jersey Shore super fan. And I would really appreciate it if you gave him shit when he sits down next well to you. Well done. And she was like, oh my God, what do we do? What's what's the plan? Like, And everyone around us was in on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had told her that he had hosted- An after show. An after show with a couple of the castmates, but she Ronnie, wasn't Ronnie, Vinny, and Snooki. Ronnie, Vinny, and Snooki. You hosted a Jersey Shore after show? You yes. better believe it, and baby. Holy smokes, it. we no need that. You can get me easy. No, My fee is low. <laughs> no, we, we need that. You're also the hardest working man in Hollywood. I'm here to help. Holy smokes. He tanked it. He called me after and was like, I'm so embarrassed. I, don't, I wasn't sure what to expect. And I feel like it went really, I mean, we didn't I was nervous. I was, he was, was so nervous. He's never nervous. And he was like, I was so nervous hosting this for MTV. It was like an after show. And so I was telling her about it and she was like, say no more. So then he sits down he's like, hi, I'm Josh, shaking her hand. And she's like, oh, I know you. And he was like, <laughs> oh, okay. And she was like, yeah, I, I saw you host that one after show. And 
she's like dead serious. And I was so embarrassed for Josh that he was going along with me. He's like, yeah, I love this show. And he's going along. I was like, stop right there. I cannot let you guys go any further. She doesn't know who you are. She's just joking. And everyone was like cracking up. <laughs> but she was so sweet. She was like, no, I, I actually texted Nicole and she doesn't believe that we're hanging out. Snooki, if you didn't know. And she was like, she doesn't believe we're hanging out. So they texted wow. her a photo and Josh was like <laughs> crying inside. And her fiance, Zach, or boyfriend, I'm not sure, he was really lovely and he's a wrestler. So he put Josh in a headlock. I, and I saw that amazing, amazing Instagram. Great photo op. Everybody's got to go to Josh's Instagram to see it. And his, he posted a couple of you. That means that the friendship is really blossoming, you know? It's starting. Do you ever meet someone like that and you have a great rapport and you do take photos and you go, they're never gonna post mine. Yes, always. Yeah, that hurts. always that hurts for sure. When it's a one way street, Instagram wise, that's sad. Like, let's both post. Huh? It's also taking a leap of faith because Synergy. if he never posted and you just posted, you would have been thinking, like, does he even like that I posted? Right. Yeah. Or would he have preferred that I keep these to myself? Yes. Or like you go to a wedding and you meet someone like Jay Wow and like she she posted away and so did Zach. God bless them both. But. I've been in situations like that. And I'm like, what are they going to post? Totally. You know? And then you see they post some nature, something abstract, ambiguous. Oh, loving this couple. And it's just a picture of like the table setting. Yeah. I'm like, are you some face. calling me out? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Is that what you do? I don't know. Probably. They I seem probably fun. Though. You're classier than me. <laughs> they seem very fun. They're lovely. Yeah. They're really, our kind of people. They yeah. were really cool because everyone was saying like they didn't also know anyone there except for Nick and Natalie. And they showed up and they were like taking pictures. They were first ones there, last ones. Like, they hung out. And they were they were having a good time. So that's cool. Everyone was great. Should we all talk about friends. the other star power there? The great Jojo Siwa. Jojo. Ooh. Yep. Icon. Really the mayor. The mayor of the wedding. Yeah. I know. She walked in and it did get a little quiet. Everyone was like... <gasps> She's here. Yeah, star power. I she's mean, the she's great. of the moment. I was she's hoping the greatest. I was hoping for a surprise performance. We didn't get it. I was like, oh, they're gonna, she's gonna come out and she's gonna sing. She's gonna perform. And she didn't. There is a really simple reason why Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. It's got over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. And as you know, if you listen to this podcast, Thicker is better. Look, your hair is just, it's, it, it's never about just your hair and, and Nutrafol knows that. That's why Nutrafol takes a whole body approach to your hair, hair health, and it addresses the problems inside to help hair grow on the outside, supporting your lifestyle, not just your hairstyle. Like you'll literally be able to get down to the root cause or the life cause of, of why you're having some hair issues, be it stress of commuting, parenting. Maybe you've got, maybe you just have too many destination weddings coming up and you're like, wow, my hair's falling out. Could be junk food. It could be late night, skipping meals, uh, stressful life events. You know, there's, there's such a mix of hormones, metabolism, nutrition, stress, all these things that can really affect your hair. But with Nutrafol, you're going to take a proactive or reactive approach. It works for men and women. And it's something that we don't talk about enough because so many people suffer. So take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping. When you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code GOODGUYS. Nutrafol.com spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com promo code good guys that's nutrafol.com promo code good guys thrive market is my home we are a thrive market home except no substitutions because i'm not trying to be stressed leaving my doorstep for groceries i'm also not trying to be stressed because i'm trying to find healthy alternatives to the food that me and my family love but we just you know i'm not going to spend an hour at the supermarket but with thrive market, I get all my grocery and household essentials with the convenience of ordering it on the internet. And it just arrives. It's on my doorstep. It's beautiful. Now, Thrive Market only allows trusted top quality ingredients while restricting thousands of harmful ingredients like artificial flavors, high fructose corn syrup, whatever. So whether you're looking for organic kid snacks, low sugar alternatives, or 
high protein essentials, you can curate your own shopping experience with a few clicks. Like I love Bob's Red Mill. I'm not going to, I'm not going to apologize. I've started with their oatmeal and now I'm getting into like all their baking essentials. And it just feels good to know that I'm getting a great product every time. And as a Thrive Market member, I save money on every single grocery order. On average, I save over 30% each time. No big deal. So save time and money and shop Thrive Market today. Go to thrivemarket.com slash good guys for 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash good guys. Thrivemarket.com slash good guys. It's hard when you're a performer and you're a guest at a wedding. Totally. Because you're there to be a guest. And I've actually, I can't mention any names. I can't. I, can't. I really can't. <laughs> but I was at a wedding and there was a very, very serious performer. And the groom asked that very serious performer to perform. And they said no. And then the song was played by the band. Oof. And those people left the wedding. No. Oh. Yes. They got up and left. And I don't think that they've ever spoken again. No. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a yeah. big, is this a big star? Yeah. What do we, how big? Keisha Cole? It's big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's big enough that I feel uncomfortable sharing the name. Big. Okay. You can, big. You can I'll tell, tell me, you later. You could tell yeah, you will. I'll tell you later. And for $5 a month, I'll tell you all. <laughs> <laughs> on Patreon. We cancel ourselves on Patreon. <laughs> Once a week, every week. I, uh, well, Paige and I were lucky enough to go to the great RIP Bob Saget's wedding to his lovely wife, now Kelly. widow Ke Kelly. And one of his best friends is John Mayer, who performed two incredible songs at the wedding. So, of course, I wanted to know how that went because getting up the courage to ask, and I found out that John, with his close friends, and maybe this was just Bob or maybe not, he said, I offer. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want to John, make it John seems like that kind of guy, though. From afar, he seems like I will take out my guitar and riff, and it's no big deal to me. But I feel like there are some performers where, like, their image is so important. Mm. Yeah. They need, like, the production. John is just so talented that... He doesn't so, need it, he, right? He, he had Jew. his guitar, and I think it was like he's half Jewish. That's why Claudia. That's you're why, lying. That's why it's Claudia's all pass. Wow. Yes. Wow. He had his guitar in his car, and just midway through the reception, I think, was like, "I'll be right back," and then just ran out, grabbed his guitar, came back in, and yeah, like just sitting right here in front of us performing. It was incredible. He did a very good job. It's yeah. just so unfair, though, that John Mayer gets to walk to his car, bring his guitar back in. And just everybody loves it. And if I did that, like, can you imagine? Like, oh all right, God. I'm just going to, like, start playing Wonderwall. Like, you know, <laughs> right. and, like, thinking that I'm going to draw on this nice kumbaya of a crowd. Can't wait for this Huba Stink cover. <laughs> yeah. can, we, can we pivot to last night? And oh, please can we don't. Please hey. talk about it. Wait, before we finish, there is one great joke. Where my, I think Michael Ian Black has a joke saying, I wonder what it's like to be Billy Joel going to a party knowing there's a piano there. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, the power. Anyway, yeah. Paige, you wanted to pivot. Let's pivot. Well, can we talk about last night? We can, talk, we can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can. We, Josh and I were walking around, and for anyone that listens to the toast, we walked by the Met, and I had to take a picture of Josh in front of the Met and say, he finally got to the Met. We sent it to the group text, and immediately you get a FaceTime from your wife. It is loud. She's like, we're karaoke. You, I already sent you the address. Come over right now. I can't hear anything you're saying, so see you soon. So we're texting, you're texting us from bed. You're like, I'm already asleep. And I said, I've never been to New York City before. It's my first time here. We have to go karaoke. And I got up and like, I don't know why I like, of course it's not your first time in New York. Like, what's <laughs> wrong with me? It was a very but good quick lie though. Here. No, it, it was good. Was here, yeah. It was good. And Claudia uh, had a beautifully long day. Her, Shannon Ford, mm -hmm. Taylor Strecker, they were having at the time of their lives. They go to karaoke. They bring us all in. I woke up at six in the morning, played the most perfect round of golf. What'd you, what, what, it what'd was you do? Nice, quick, beautiful weather. Sub 90? Oh no, 93. We that hurts. Close, yeah, that I know. hurts. It's hard. It's, very, it's a very hard game, okay. very frustrating. We go, we watch the Nick game. The Knicks just crushed the 76ers. It was such a good game. Back and forth. I ordered two pounds of pastrami. I ate two pounds of pastrami. No bread, Passover. Just keto season, little matzah, not keto season. 
And then, you know, once you do that, you're settled. I'm in. I had a full day already. Six to four, I'm done. Sure. So I go into bed. I got a pint of ice cream, had a pint of ice cream. What I'm done. Day? It was the best day ever. I actually tried Ben and Jerry's new s'mores flavor. Oh, you like Ben and Jerry's? No, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't. I, I, knew that was I hate them. I hate them. I love their ice cream. I hate. God, their ice cream is delicious. I, I hate whatever else is going on with them. <laughs> oh, is their ice cream good, though? It is. Amazing. Fish food? Oh. I can't give up fish food. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon's flavor? I can't give it up. Is it good? I don't know. I just think it's odd he we, has one. Belly, full of pastrami, full of ice cream. Got out of bed, came to karaoke, yep. and, Drove. and and we were and we were karaokeing. Mm. We yeah. went in. We went well, in. The line was pretty long. It was a teeny tiny little place. So Josh and I got there. Claudia's up at the bar eating McDonald's that she had ordered Legend. because they didn't have food. And she was like, "You order your drinks here. You bring your food in." So she's eating her McDonald's. She's she's had the best day. She went shopping, and she was karaokeing. And so she, we got there right in time. She sang, what did she say? Oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Started with Queen. She did? Yes, she did. I've never it. even heard her sing that. Well, she, How was she it? She sang it. Crushed. Crushed. Oh, yep. everything. What a song. And it was so, like, every single person that proceeded to go up, she just, like, her facial expressions and the way <laughs> that she reacts to things cracks me up. Every single person, she's like, mm, they're not that good. No. They're not. They're, <laughs> they're not that good. She's like, why is everyone clapping? I was 10 times better than this. And it's just like, <laughs> it was the funny, like without fail, I was like, oh, everyone's loving this. Claudia is going to turn around in three, two, one. And she would turn around and look at us like, yeah. It was so funny. <laughs> also, the bathroom was right by where she was sitting. So people would be walking by to go to the bathroom and she would think that it was like someone coming over to talk to her. So she'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> Just stare at people until they would move. It was the funniest thing. Uh, it was so good. I sang Meatloaf. You, you did. did. You here's the here's loaf. the thing though. You guys it don't wasn't know. Version. You guys don't know how good I sing the regular version. I was off beat. I was off beat, but I sang I'd Do Anything for Love. You said which it was is, a slow version. It was a slow version. It wasn't good. That's my second favorite karaoke song. My first is Lips of an Angel Ooh. by Hinder. You know that song? No, no. Hear your voice, say my name, it sounds so sweet. Yeah. Coming from the lips of an angel. Wow, what an interesting twang. It makes twang. me weak. So good. What's yours? I don't have one. I don't oh, karaoke. Yeah. Come on. I am a professional performer and I don't take it lightly. Okay, but so let me even go Del Beckham runs routes for fun. Okay, we're, we're, at, we're at Nick's wedding. Yeah. And Nick says, Josh, I heard you have an amazing voice wow. that's being gatekept, yeah. and I want you to sing a song. What are you singing? I would say no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this We'll cut this out. Paige's grandmother asked me to sing at Paige's grandfather's funeral. I said no. Well, that's a, that's a hard ass. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just said R. that. R.I.P. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> we can't cut it out. We got to cut it out. I, that is so funny that you remember that. She probably already has it written in her will that you're singing at hers no matter what. Actually, I have mom would. Or she has you written out. I have it written in my will that if I go before my mom, she's not allowed to sing at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. She would. Oh, my God. She was singing at Passover. Yeah, we did Paige hosted a beautiful little uh, quasi Irish Passover Seder. It was lovely. And my mom, like, this is what's great about the zero fucks given of people 80 and above. My mom, like halfway, we're all having normal conversation. She cues up Hava Nagila on her phone and starts singing it. I go, mom, first of all, not appropriate for Passover. Yeah, Secondly, just not appropriate. No, like, even I know this isn't the right song for. Wait, people are just talking, and she just. Yep. Like mid conversation, yeah. she just starts blasting <laughs> Avin Aguila. Yes. That's my kind of woman. <laughs> That's good stuff. Did she bring in a chair? Well, no, because the only one, she was sitting in it. Got it. But yeah, she, she, she just, it's, I, I, watching my mom come into her full blossom. In her, she's going to be 80 in June, is a joy. Shout out, Barb. What day? Shout out, Barb. June 3rd. Wow, beautiful Love birthday. Yeah. Bruce is June 22nd, that's why I asked. Love it, cancer. Turning 65. Like your wife? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Do you see any similarities between yes, your dad and I do. Wife? I do. They're both the funniest people I know. And now my mom's going to send me a text like, I'm not the funniest person you know. <laughs> Shout out, no, Ava. But a you're gas. the best person I know, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, they're both so, so funny. Yes. 
So funny. Maybe it's a, is it, are cancers funny? I think every sign is and isn't everything. Yeah. It's whatever you want it to be. It's a, it's a load of crap, right? You believe in astrology at all? You like uh, what's in? Do you, you like cooey I, do you? energy? I don't. I think, I think something that I do enjoy is that Shy is born in October, and so he's a Libra. Our youngest October Sasha. what? 10th, 1010. Okay, not too close to Halloween. Yeah, yeah. It's good. 1010. Yes. We actually, from October 10th, Till New Year's Day, it's like a family birthday event, something every single week, holiday, every week. So it's just nuts. But ten ten shy, so he's a Libra, and then Josh is in November, and he's a Scorpio, mm -hmm. and then I'm December Sagittarius, and Max is the December 29th Capricorn. Wow. So we're all like wow. boom, 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 boom. Wow. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, if we have another kid, we have to make sure it's either whatever comes before or after that. Yeah. No. Because that would be really- A lot of up. stress. A lot of pressure. They say Scorpios are one of the most sexual signs. Paige, do you see that in me? Yeah, intense, <laughs> emotional. Um, He's a horn dog. I'm just like making up all these like- We are, I, we're intense I and emotional. Know. Okay. You like that term, horn dog? A horn dog, yeah. I like it. That's a good, that's yeah. accurate. That's good, right? Stud muffin. <laughs> yeah, that's good too. What, um, what's your, your Aries? Aries. Classic Everything Aries. that I've read, you're it makes me believe in it. Yes. But that's what they do. Yes. They make they they throw in these, they're like fortune tellers. Like they just know that one thing that is yeah. true about everyone that draws you in, like, oh like I can't theme. believe it that you knew that about my mom. But like that's just like a, something about every mom. Yeah. Ever. Right. right. You know? That made that's you feel true. special. Yes. I don't know how they do it. Whoever writes those like blurbs. Blurbs for the uh, signs, they're very good at it. It's interesting, like my my dad, brother, and I are all Sagittarius. And I see the obviously similarities were related, but like I really don't think we're very similar, especially me and my brother. Like I wouldn't say Kelly and I are like similar in any way. Just great people. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like personality-wise, I wouldn't say interest-wise, all those things. So it's, I don't know, we're mm -hmm. just a couple days apart. Mm. I don't know. I also think that remember a couple years ago when they said there were they're like there's another sign, there's an extra one. Right. They did? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm supposed to be that one, I believe. Really? Yeah. Look it up, girl. Who makes this crap up? I don't or who know. finds it? The Is there an or, or how did they find it? Bureau? Yeah. I don't know. And there's no quality control. We know that. None. Right? There's no checks and balances when it comes to astrology. But like, is there a book? Like, is there like sure. the Torah of astrology, something that people found like 4,000 years ago that's telling us that we should believe this stuff? There are some some preeminent books. And then there's also that preeminent dream book, which if when I, before I met my beautiful wife, if I went over to a girl's house and she had the dream book, I go, it's not going to work out. That's, a, I've never even heard of it. Oh yeah, it's like the the dream interpretation book. It's big, it's green, it's always offered at Barnes and Noble. There's a, there's a dream interpretation book. Yes, and it all roots I back to this. your mother. I need this. <laughs> I take magnesium is my dream pill, mm. like the pill that makes me dream. For I, me, it's Percocet. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have five hundred milligrams of magnesium before I go to sleep. I have the most vivid dreams and the deepest snooze. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Lucid dreaming is that a thing with magnesium? Well, it, it helps you sleep. Oh, it does. Well, I think it's mostly for your muscles. It helps me sleep. I, I don't I haven't I don't take any <laughs> sleeping thing. I'm so tired all the time that like I could fall asleep at any moment. I'm thinking like kids, they what's the thing uh unison I mean no unisom's melatonin. Take, melatonin. Do you take melatonin? No, that that stuff is like a hard drug to me. Is I it? take melatonin really and I and I feel it's terrible dark. in the morning. It's like dark. I, I think I've taken melatonin once and I didn't think it really helped or did anything. But that's probably a long time ago. Do you, probably... do, do you do any B12s, any AG1s shout out? Mm -hmm. No. You should. I should. Wow. I really should. My friend AG1's the other day. AG1's good. Could it, should I tell? She's actually a fan of the podcast, so she'll be listening. I won't say any names. Base, babe, base. I'm going on a trip in two days to Savannah, Georgia. Heard of it? Jealous much? And I'm bringing my base. Why? Because we've all been there, right? Traveling is stressful. You need the right suitcase and yours is not it, right? It's either bursting at the seams. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, God, who's going to notice? We all do. And we're judging. But with base, there's room for everything. Whether you have 15 pairs of underwear, whether you want to bring a couple extra shoes. Wow, shoes take up so much room. We can bring them all with base. 
Or like I have their weekend bag and it's so good because there's like special pockets for my ID and, and for all my like little things, you know, whatever, it, whatever it is that I'm going to face in my travel experience, base is there for me. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors. And for shorter trips, the weekender bag, like I said, is super functional and it even has a place to store your shoes separately. How about that? There's a reason why they have 30,000 five-star reviews. Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. Right now, Base is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash goodguys. Go to basetravel.com slash goodguys for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel dot com slash good guys. But she, <laughs> yes. she knows Tell the story. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, my friend, her husband's out of town and her mom came in to stay with her and she has three kids and she's just like the best. She's like one of those people who just makes it all look easy. Super mom. Super mom, mom works, wow. has the kids, like everyone's always doing something. So... Uh, <laughs> She, her mom was over and the teacher at school for her three-year-old texted her and was like, hey, um, did your daughter have a rough night last night? She's like passed out face down on the table <laughs> and it's in the morning. So it's not like nap time. It's just like as soon as she got to school, she's passed out like face down on the table. And my friend was like, oh my gosh, no, that's so funny. I don't know what happened. And so she's giggling and she's like, mom, look at this picture. Like my daughter's sleep at school and her mom starts laughing but then starts like really laughing my friend's like okay it's it's not that funny and she was like no 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 this morning when I was getting the kids breakfast ready I accidentally grabbed the wrong gummies and I gave her a melatonin but oh I just my god a kid's, a, kid's <laughs> a kid's melatonin a kid's melatonin gummy. gummy and she was like and I just didn't think anything would happen I, I didn't say anything because I was like uh oh, that'll be fine she was like, and now I'm seeing your kid passed out. Like she, they couldn't, <laughs> they couldn't wake her yeah. up, and she was face down on the table as soon as she got to school. I was like, wow. Well, you know, they work. They work. Yeah. Oh, they work. But she gave them to all three kids. I forgot to ask if any the teacher said anything about the older ones. Oh my god, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah. And scary. Sometimes Oof, you take a I shot of espresso it. with a melatonin gummy, just see what happens. Wow, that is, <laughs> I don't do that. That's dangerous. I'm not, not dangerous, that it's sick. diabolical. Whenever I go to a, a, a secret meeting of alcoholics and we, because uh, <laughs> there is an anonymity portion, but whenever I go and like, I'll see people like chain smoking cigarettes, crushing like a 50 ounce, like energy drink and like sucking on their zen, I'm like, this is sobriety. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is our version of sobriety. Yeah. yeah. The upper and the downer, though, at once, is I, I never understood it. I, I never got it. Like, I remember, I won't name names, people that would smoke weed and do cocaine. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing both at once? Because it's the only way to do it. <laughs> 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 That's why people drink and do coke. No, it people, even I, that also out. doesn't make any sense. People, sure, it does. Try it. Okay. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> no, we can't anymore. The fence. Well, they're trying to kill us. No, they Who are. Who's trying to the kill fence. us? Who is trying to kill us? Who's putting fentanyl? Okay, good point. Good in point. our drugs. I just thank God you're Who? here. Do you want to start? Who is it? <laughs> is it you? No. Imagine Paige is just like secretly like I'm Pablo Escobar or what was the who was the female Pablo Escobar? What was her name? Uh, she was a legend. Gra Griselda. Griselda. De, 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 what yeah. was the last name? Sofia Sophia That's Vergara me. is playing her. Yeah, yeah Griselda. Yeah. I'm Griselda. <laughs> By the way, it's a good income. Good. Yeah. I'm in. For our third baby. Keep that I'm name in, in mind. Um, I heard, this is what I heard. And it kind of makes perfect sense that fentanyl is an opiate the illicit opiate up until this point, we're, we're gonna have to, to bleep all this because we're gonna get flagged on YouTube, was the heron, as people say, right? And that actually is like a real thing, right? It's made from poppies, it requires cultivation, processes, costs money, inventory, the whole thing, like it's expensive. Fentanyl is a chemical that costs nothing to make. It's like just, you know, it's, it costs nothing. So they would rather create this artificial substance that they don't have to grow a field of poppies. 
They don't have to treat it. They don't have to do all this stuff. And that's why it's just so cheap for them and so damn powerful. But but so it doesn't kill you in certain circumstances, but it does kill you in other cir- sure. circumstances? Sure, I mean, it's, it's a medical, fentanyl is used in like um, surgical procedures. It's an incredible drug, like ketamine, but when used improperly, yeah, it's very, very dangerous. Wow, wow, that is. You've mm-hmm. spoken like a true drug addict. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> you can crack it. <laughs> I had heard it. We're good. Shout out Dave, our incredible producer here at yes. uh, WTF Studio. So I, so I don't understand how it's killing people then. Do you know how it's killing people? Because they're using it instead of the real stuff. They're using it to supplement. Yeah. Right? They're, they're using it as filler. I'm saying, is it more fentanyl than you get in a hospital? Way more. Oh, it is. Okay, that's the thing. Yes. So, yes, so it. it's the, it's the amount. It's not regulated. It's not been overseen by a doctor with like the exact amount put out. It's by someone who's just kind of going, "Let's see what happens." Got it. Damn. Bad news bears. Damn. I'm just staring at your hat. What do you think? I love it. It's nice, right? It's cute. New, mer- new merch. New merch. Robinson. Hot new merch. New merch. We should actually talk about this. I don't think the people know that Josh and I, I don't even know if you know this. Actually, you definitely know this. Josh and I are running a 5K. Yeah, we are. Oh, we I are. know, I we know are. about the 5K. Bert and Tom's 5K, and also Claudia's 5K, the three of them. Yeah, I, I actually didn't know you were running. That's a new oh, development. Oh yeah, I'm running. Oh. And I'm running fast and then slow. I'll That's be what there. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'll, take- I'll make signs with the kids and we'll Ooh. like, Ooh. Hand out little gel packs. It's a 5K, but like yes, pretend yeah. it's a marathon. No, those are good. Those cliff gummies. <laughs> yes, you yeah, should. the marathon. Just, oh, and be diabolical. Hand out melatonin gummies. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> All of a sudden, people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CBD energy drink. I yeah, won. Yeah. I can't believe I won. We're Everybody's just asleep passing now. Everybody's asleep. <laughs> that is but, so funny. But uh, we decided that we're going to wear all our new merch. At that uh, 5K, that's the drive. and that's going to be our photo shoot. Pretty good, right? Love that. Yeah. Where it's in LA. It's in, yeah in Pasadena. Ooh. I actually just did like a little bit of a, a trial run because I said to Claudia, like, I don't need to do this. I can walk. I, I can miles. walk forever. Yeah. That said, I can't run forever. Yeah. Sure. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to run, and then I'm going to need to walk, and then I'm going to need to run, and then I'm going to need to walk. I'm going to average out at about a 10 minute mile. How do we feel about that? I think you're wrong. You think I'm going to be slower or faster? Much slower. Much slower. You, I run a 10-minute mile, and okay. I'm not fast. <laughs> Ooh, I sense a challenge. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a 10-minute mile is a legitimate running time. It is. Yeah, it's not elite. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think if you run walk, it'll be more like 15 to 16-minute mile. Okay, so maybe I'll sprint walk. You're going to sprint? About, is that a bad idea? No, I, I just want to see it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's good. How's Claudia's it's training good. going? Is she like- She's- a beast. Really? I've never, like, maybe it's just because it's something that I am so far from being able to do. I but we both running. went to the reservoir to, to go run, wow. and she ran for 35 minutes, not stopping. Wow. She runs. I hate running It's so like an much. episode of Sex in the City, you and her at the Central Park I know. Reservoir. I know. You just were watching an episode that, <laughs> where that took place there. I was. I was watching it on the plane, and I was like, this is so inappropriate. Sex in the City is a great show. It's a great show, but like I didn't know if there was like kids around me. Totally. It's yeah. it's underratedly inappropriate. Definitely. Should, should we get to a story? I would love to. Um, what kind of story are we talking about? Well, we've got a couple in the pipe. Uh, first of all, I think this one's interesting. Justin Bieber shares pictures of himself crying. A pretty crier. We Amy love says. an emotional game. Justin Bieber's letting fans in on an emotional moment, sharing pics of himself crying to Instagram and drawing a reaction from his wife. Um, it's interesting. Do you want to see? I saw. Oh, I saw. I saw. The poor Biebs. Very real. Wow. Very real. Yeah. Yeah, look. Has um, he, I feel like he hasn't been posting a lot lately, so it is a little interesting to not post in a long time and then just share a bunch of photos of you crying. Sure. But he does look like a nice crier like it's not he looks pretty do we <laughs> it's all, justin bieber should we all compare he's very beautiful do we all want to compare our crying face no okay i'll start is that you that's you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i could for sure see you cry dave again. zoom in <laughs> no, wow well, is that you are you gonna start crying i Josh. could oh did you just hear that wow. i almost just started to cry i can do it yeah you can i can do it you can do it. It's beautiful. I'm uncomfortable, but it is beautiful. 
I'm back. It's beautiful. Wow. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Yeah, get a little. He's in. He's yeah. in. Yeah, you right. got a little like, yeah, that, little, that. He's mouth in. Action. That's really good. mouth action. That's right? really good. Cast me. <laughs> I'm SAG eligible. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to be a series regular. Oh. <clears throat> I just um, fucked up my sinuses. Now all of a sudden I have mucus coming down at the oh top God. bridge. That's not crying, that's Judaism. Well, <laughs> whatever it is, it's no good. You know what? Speaking of Judaism, I've been navaging twice a day. Do you know what a navage is? No, say more. A navage is uh, this automated sinus, like neti pots. Oh, it's mm. like what we have for, <laughs> for a shy. You, you, Maybe not. you put a salt water tablet in it and the no. water and you it's it's motorized oh, and it oh. goes around. We saw that. Max oh. and I were just watching that, I think, on Dude Perfect. Oh, it is it. And That's it's really it's really helped. And the doctor prescribed two drops of what you'd use if you had asthma hmm. uh, that opens up the airways to open up my sinuses. Hmm. Albuterol. And I'm clear as day. That's that's so nice. I feel like the things like you kind of feel like you're choking. They said I could start using them on the kids because the kids are always sick, and it's like they don't know how to blow their noses properly. No. They're always just like congested. So we tried to do the the neti pot type of thing, and they like freaked out. They did not like it. But you know the they do you know what a there's like a nose sucker for kids? Of course. It's like oh yeah. Brilliant, but every I feel like every time I use it, I start to feel sick. Well, because it requires you to to, to like be the hose, yeah, or you're like, like to be the motor. Manually, like you suck, are you put sucking. A tube oh, in their nose. but the tube is far. That seems incredibly <laughs> unnecessary. You works. are the vacuum. Why? No, I no, I know, but like that's like saying that there's an electric pump and then there's the mouth pump. Where's the electric pump? It's a price well, discrepancy. Have, oh, <laughs> yeah. so you guys are are so no yeah. just, cheap. No, no, no. <laughs> So we just, I did some research and now there's this thing called the doctor knows best. And it's like this machine. I bought it the other day because Shai was so congested and I was like, I have to try something else. It's like intense. It's like three levels and it just sucks everything out. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, definitely it's better than you chance. sucking in your own children's mucus. Know, of course you're getting the sick. Parents no, know. It's, it's a very high, it's a, it's a high. That's what you do. You'll find, you'll find that's out. That's what you do? Yeah. I'm out. I'm it, getting, I'm getting motorized. It's a highly used item. I mean, I'll, what's it called? The baby. The doctor knows best. N-O-Z-E. Wow. That's a great name. Yeah. Wait, why wouldn't it be doctor knows best? N-O-S-E. Because it's it? a play on nose. It is N-O-W-S. I, I thought it was like N-O-Z-E. Like, I don't know. Is it? I'm it, pretty sure that's what it is. It's Z? I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's fascinating. It is anyway. fascinating. <laughs> it is fascinating. Did you know that an ex Wisconsin University porn professor is still making $90,000? They're still making their $90,000 salary despite being banned for filming sex vids with adult film stars. A University of Wisconsin professor is still raking in more than 90 grand a year despite being demoted over X-rated vegan cooking. We have a vegan here, <laughs> but nothing X-rated. Uh, Joe Gal was fired last year from his role as chancellor of the university, but allowed to stay on as a communications professor. But it, he wasn't making enough to pay for his bills, so he started a triple X career. He's 64, um, and he's no longer allowed to set foot on campus, but... He's making two incomes and having some pretty triple, triple X vid. Is it because he's tenured? Is that what it is? I mean, maybe perhaps. Unbelievable. Well, but at 64, you're going to be like, eh, give it a shot. What about tenure? How incredible is tenure? What? I don't understand how you can even get fired from tenure. Right. You make ten, like you, you, you get tenure and that's it. You're paid for life. Where was this? Where? Oh, Wow. Uh, he said, they want to fire me as a tenured faculty member, oh. but what I do with my wife on my own time and using my own equipment, well, let's hope you're not renting, uh, <laughs> is none of their business. Gao is married to a former uh, uh, UW professor, Carmen Wilson, known online as the sexy, happy couple, and they promote themselves as a sex-positive couple promoting free expression. I'm into it. I want to know who snitched. <laughs> Dr. Joe Gao... Good looking guy. Wow. I'd, yeah. I'd still skip his porn, but like, <laughs> but he's good looking. Yeah, I'd be like, Professor, you know? Yeah. Nice job last night. Yeah, well done. Yeah, well, well done. done. Who do you think snatched? Who did it? I don't think in this world you can 
put anything like that out on, on the internet without, without people knowing people within finding. five minutes. Yeah, but like the my rebuttal to that would be, why are you searching for granny porn to the snitcher? Granny. Yeah, that would be my but, rebuttal but too. I, <laughs> I wonder if like- What a weird kink. I wonder if he was like promoting it on his own, you know, like if he was like subscribed to whatever, or I don't know what he- Yeah, or it was like extra credit on a pop quiz. And maybe he was just promoting it and being like, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do, and then people, coworkers, follow him, something like that. Mm, sure. Probably pretty. Easy if he's to if he's out. promoting it, the guy's got to go from the school. He can't be both a teacher and a porn star that promotes your porn to your students and faculty. Boomer, he can't, boomer. Can't do that. <laughs> he can't do that. But if you want to do it in your private time, under an alias, behind a paywall, I have no issues. But what about even, so you're not promoting it, but assuming people will find out regardless, then what do you do? It's still okay because you didn't promote it? No, it's a very tough situation. You but can't, you can't it, be, it's legal. I know, but I it's can't. It's with his wife, but even if it wasn't. But the school probably has like a code of ethics, ethics that they can fair. say like, that this doesn't align with. I'm torn, I'm very torn. You know, Yeah. it doesn't align with like our, I don't know, policy and. You can congratulations continue on, but like it doesn't. I don't know. I think that they could legally probably say that, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, the, these are you know private institutions. Yeah. yeah, do what they will. Well, should we get to a speak pipe? I mean, yes. we have Paige here. Please. She's a professional. Please, wouldn't want to miss out on this opportunity. What are what are we at on time? Do you know? Forty what? Perfect. Cool. So we'll do like a speak pipe, and then a what are you nuts? Yeah, start Great. thinking for your what are you nuts. Oh, no. <laughs> um, all right. So this first one's from Luke. What's up, Josh and Ben? It's Luke here from Colorado. In the name of brevity, I'll get right to it. My wife and I just had our first baby a couple months ago, and I'm curious to get your thoughts on how the Mother's Day slash Father's Day dynamic changes when you have kids. What is a reasonable expectation of how I should celebrate my parents? They live close, but I don't know if it's selfish of me to not feel a desire to celebrate them this year. Very curious to get your thoughts from a dad and a dog dad. A dad and a dog dad. Wow. And a mother. And a mother. Luke, you sound like a real chump. <laughs> I'm not going to acknowledge your parents because you have kids. I just don't understand. Like, do people people celebrate Father's Day that seriously that they, like, need to be the only father celebrated? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's weird. I, I thought it was a very communal gathering. Like, you bring all the dads in the room that you know. That's right. Yeah, that are close like to you and you right. celebrate the dads. And, and you have you, a nice corned beef sandwich yeah. and you're on, you move on. But you still honor King Dad, right? Like I would always defer to your dad. And then and I feel like if if your grandfather was still alive, we'd defer to him. Right, right, right. right. I think um we're not big on celebrating how like it's nice to have the acknowledgement and to be like, oh yeah, let's do something. It's fun for the kids too, those holidays, but I'm not like, I don't ever expect things. I don't really celebrate like our birthdays, anniversaries. We just don't really do that. So I think that we do like to celebrate our parents more so for that kind of stuff. But yeah. I'm, it's like have a brunch and they don't live far away. Why don't you guys just like meet and go to lunch somewhere and be yeah, like, are you going to celebrate yourself? Here's your gift, mom. Here's or did your you, gift, wife. Or do two things. Like why, why can't you have or, a yeah, two hour, you can't have a two dinner. hour lunch with yeah. your dad? Yeah. yeah. The guy who birthed you? I would say. I guess not if, birthed, but the guy who contributed to 23 you? chromosomes. If yeah. You have, if or you 22. Have a relationship. Whatever. Or did birth him. Yeah. Never know. Never know. You never know. If you have a relationship with your parent, yeah, I would say it's still important to celebrate them. Yeah, I agree. Like, <laughs> it seems pretty straightforward. The best thing to me about a Father's or a Mother's Day is the assumption that, like, if you need a couple hours, if I want to go to Schwitz, if you want to go do something with your gal pals, if you want to go have a massage, like, go do it. You yeah. have carte blanche. Yeah. yeah. I've never celebrated Mother's Day or Father's Day, obviously, as a parent. It must be very different. Like, my Mother's Day and Father's Day are, my dad has, he's like, whatever you guys want to do, we'll do. My mom is morning tonight. We will have a plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, and we go, we go in. Oh, my God. Uh, breakfast activity, lunch activity, dinner. It's it's a day and wow. it's a beautiful day. Yes. But I just am thinking to myself, there would be no room for that like two hour getting a massage, 
you know, like sure. I was do it later in the week. You yeah, it doesn't like, have to be that day. It doesn't have to be that day. I think that God willing, when you procreate with your beautiful wife, Ava will have to give up some of her day. And I think she will <laughs> yeah. for, the, for the child. Yes. Or She'll do it for the just child. Combine. Like she would probably want to spend time with her grandkids. Definitely. And be like, oh, let's do something all together. It's easy to just knock it all out in one. Yeah. Moral of the story, this guy is nuts. Yeah. I'm sorry, Luke. Luke, get it Luke, together. he came on and honestly, he sounded great. I was like, I'm Luke in. Luke from Colorado. I'm in. And you're probably still a great person, but celebrate go reach your out parents. to your dad. <laughs> celebrate, to, reach out yeah, to your yeah. dad. Reach out. Reach, reach out. out. Make one, sure he's good. One more speak pipe from Anella. Hello. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't <laughs> wait to smoke a jersey so I could have the courage to record one of these. Ow. Sorry, the dog hit me in the head. Um, hi. This is so fucking exciting for me. Can I just say, love you guys so much. I am a massive moron. Massive. Even in my personal life. And a massive toaster. Love the girls. Shout out to them. Mm. I feel like you guys should do like a foursome thing and record like a whole thing together. That would be, that would be insane. Never okay. happen. Um, I just want to say... Please, ben, we'd love to. so fucking funny. Your laugh, your giggle you makes my me? heart just <gasps> sing. Josh, you always say quasi. Like, always. Oh, my God, I'm running out of time. Ah! Um, You guys are so fucking funny. I'm obsessed. You guys make me giggle. Oh, I have a little bit longer. Um, I don't really have... Oh, I think I'm... Oh, no, sorry. Oh, this is where I picked the wrong now. speak pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, thanks. All right. I mean, look, I could always use a good pat on Did the back. A compliment. That was Jeez. nice. That was a real. That was nice. It was a little hectic. Do you guys think you would ever do a show in Australia? Guys? Was that Ghost a collab? Would All we? Four of you. Would we? Yes. Would they? No. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. <laughs> they don't need us. <laughs> they don't need us. <laughs> they don't need us. But we would. We're let's, available. Let's try it quickly with Kinsley. I, 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 my speak pipe game is not on it today. Hey, Josh and Ben. Um, I was listening to last week's episode, and I wanted to share that I received a $1,000 bill for my wedding present <gasps> um, for my grandmother. Wow. And um, we have it in our safe, and every couple of years I check the value of it, and it keeps going up. Um, so we're hanging on, hoping to make it big one day. Wow. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you all. Wow. That is sick. Wow. That is incredible. Did she make that up? It doesn't. That doesn't exist. I don't. I don't know. What would be one step cooler would be if her grandparent was an amazing counterfeiter. Yes. 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 And just yes. gave her a fake bill. Yes. Like, I. I would. I would double check that. We. Somebody gave us some um, gold coins. Did you already talk about this? Shout out my uncle. Yeah, for our wedding, and it does keep going up in value. Yeah. We just. It's very very heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Dave, you okay over there? <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Long okay, go. day. Okay, go. Okay, should we get <laughs> should we get into what are you nuts? Yeah. Let's get to our what are you nuts? I want to go last. This is clearly one of, of our better podcasts. We are keeping them engaged. <laughs> you guys, I really apologize. I wasn't You're prepared. great. This I wasn't is prepared. Age, this is amazing. It's All right. A... I'm gonna start with what are you nuts? What are you nuts? <laughs> I have a list of like things that happened to me. Oh. But <laughs> you have <laughs> what I'll, I'll go first and you'll think of like, something. What a sad and you'll think of something. <laughs> I'm watching I'm watching the Nick game and uh they pan to a 76ers fan, mid 30s, cheering, male, sleeveless. They pan again to a uh, New York Knicks fan. I don't know, 29, sleeveless, cheering, sleep, armpit hair out, huge, just sleeveless. You know. He smells terrible, right? And all I have to say is over the age of 12, wearing a sleeveless jersey to a basketball game is a what are you nuts? Totally, totally nuts. Yes. You, sh you need to at least wear a t-shirt under it if you want to celebrate your fandom in that way. But honestly, and I'll do it sometimes, you just shouldn't wear a jersey. Wear a nice hat or a nice t-shirt. But the sleeveless jersey over the age of really 12. Yeah. Because at 12, you start to smell. You, there's no way that you're sitting there 
arm in arm for three hours and you don't stink. I've met a musty 11 year old. Yeah, yeah. there you go, there you go. What are you, nuts? Put on some sleeves. 100%, you know what else? And I'll just, a little addition to your what are you nuts? Grow up. Grow up. Grow up with these jerseys, this fan gear. Stop it, Paige, I feel like you have something to say about me. No, I'm no. just laughing because we got a package of jerseys that arrived for our whole family, a family affair. Well, shout out the New York Jets. Shout out the New York Jets. But that is a respectable organization that keeps your armpits covered. That's true. At all times. Very you can wear a, uh, it's just basketball that way, has this problem. By the way, jerseys. It's the whole thing. But I, I'm just saying like, you just got a jersey in the mail. Yeah, if the Jets ever make sleeveless jerseys, we'll make fun of them. <laughs> for Fair now, enough. they're, we're fine. No slinglets. No. Could you imagine you went to a wrestling competition wearing a wrestling slinglet? It'd be nuts. Nuts. True. Leave the uniforms to the players. I digress. Um, my Winnie Nuts is um, we're staying at the beautiful Pendry mm-hmm. Hotel in New York. Don't worry, this will come out next week. We'll be long gone. Don't try to find us. But we are staying at the beautiful Pendry in New York. They have a stunning gym and it's big, like a really big, beautiful hotel gym. Now I'm there this morning alone on my grind on my David Goggins bullshit. And a man comes in in his 50s to do what's clearly his physical therapy routine because he has a bad back from bad living. Mm. So <laughs> so I'm there. Jim is wide open. I took picture evidence and I cut his head out just so that I wouldn't get in trouble, but I'm gonna show you and we'll, we'll post it. I am, there's like a section, free weights, machines it's all congregated to one section then there's just huge swaths of like you know um just open area there's even a room for stretching Mm. he puts his yoga mat in front of the free weights dead center in the middle of all the machines and is doing down dog Mm. up dog Mm. Mm. what are you nuts yeah get out of my way yeah the worst place you could have picked look how big this gym is. Look at all that real estate. Look where he is. Big gym. Look yeah. where he is. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. What's right? Po- like, what's he doing? He's opening up his hip flexors, <laughs> um, <laughs> stretching the IT band. So the man's in his late I'm trying to think if I've done that. But, like, look, Shoot. machine, machine. No, no, no. You're free right. Free weight. You're absolutely right. Open area. Yeah. No, you're right. What are you, nuts? Nuts. Yeah. Nuts. Little, little Stretch, Stretch where it's open. Gym awareness. Stretch where it's open. I, I had a what are you nuts and I don't think I don't think I could share it. I just be, I think it would be too easy to tell what it's about, who it's about. So I'm not gonna I have another would it be bad to make it about Max? No. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. Right. He's gotta so, pull his weight in this he has family. To pull his weight. So we're preparing for this trip. We're going, you know, for pretty pretty decent amount of time. I don't leave the kids often. Josh will go to work and I'm usually home with them. So like we don't always, we don't ever leave typically together. So, you know, it's like a big deal, big trip. And every day this week, I'd walk downstairs and Max would be like, what time do you leave? And I'm like, mm, I leave on Friday night and it's Monday. And he'd be like, ugh, like di- so disappointed. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And I'm, you know, prepping them to leave. I'm like getting all their stuff together, making sure everything, you know, stressed. And Max comes home from school. He's like, mom, look what I made. And he said, I sat down with my teacher and we made a calendar and the calendar, the day that we left is just covered in smiley face stickers for the whole week that we're gone. (laughs) It's just like happy and then sad stickers on the day I come back. And I'm like, Max, ouch. (laughs) (laughs) He literally like could not be happier to have seen us go. And we called him this morning and I was like, Max, you do you miss us? He's like, uh, I asked Mima if she can move in. My mom, he wants her to move into our house. Told her he never wants her to leave. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. It's a real piece of shit. Yeah, what do you, what are you nuts? I do everything for you. Literally, I've never gone on a trip. Babe. I'm like, and then I'm getting ready for this trip. And he's like, can you get out? <laughs> the smiley faces on the day we left really, really was the twist of the knife. That is unbelievable. He made his own calendar just to do that, <laughs> just to show me. I've been trying to proposition him with like, you know, New York has a really big Lego store and he's becoming indifferent. He's like, yeah, but then you'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like- <laughs> 
I don't want a present if it means you're coming home. I actually, I did some reverse psychology. He's not wanting to go to his swim lessons, which he has today. And I was like, you know, we've tried all the things. We've tried talking him through it. We've tried doing it. And now at this point, I'm like, I already paid for the swim lesson. You have to go. He missed one last week. And so I was like, the only thing that I did some reverse psychology. I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to fly home today and I'm going to take you myself because I'm the only one who could take you. And he was like, nope, I got it. I'm good. I'm going with me, Ma. Do not get on a plane. Stay. And I was like, oh, geez. Oh, my God. Max. My, wow. my children love me so much. I'm an incredible parent. She yeah. is. Just a yeah. caveat. Just a little. I know you are. No, I'm just kidding. I just. Yeah, they. 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 Do not care that well, we're gone. I absolutely love that. As Paige is spiraling, we just want to say, this has been not only are you incre an incredible mother, you are an incredible guest. Thank you for being here. Sweet, Thank you sweet for having Paige. me. We yes. love you. It was absolutely fantastic to have you. Love you, love you. I was no Claudia, but. No, you were. I'll you were excellent. You were excellent. No, no self-doubt. No yeah. more of the self-doubt. You put the Mick and McClurd. Yes, you were You were great. You put the, you put the put in Paige. <laughs> yeah. Put the put in Paige. Thanks, y'all. And that's our show. Uh, listen to us on Apple, Spotify. Watch us on YouTube. Otherwise, you can't see us. I literally, I'm been going like this the whole time. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> you can't see me on a swivel. This if you're not watching on YouTube, my neck is broken. If you watch this without sound, Ben just looks indecisive. Yeah, I'm, but my <laughs> neck is cracked. It's cracked. I have a. It's terrible, and you wouldn't know that if you're not watching on YouTube. So. Watch us on YouTube. Share our clips with a friend. If you're not following us on Instagram, follow us at Good Guys. We're posting fire clips. Fire. fire. Dummy fire. Fire. Yeah. Share them with a friend. Mondays and Thursdays, two episodes a week. Double the Good Guys. And we'll see you next time.